Everyone knows the Cinderella Man story that resides with James J. Braddock. The peak of the Bulldog of Bergen's career was winning the heavyweight championship on June 13, 1935, against Max Baer. But few people know about the rest of his story following this iconic fight. Braddock continued to fight exhibition matches for the next two years, holding on to the title. He was supposed to fight the German heavyweight Max Schmeling. As a former champion and future Hall of Famer, he knocked out the undefeated Brown Bomber Joe Lewis in an upset in 12 rounds. However, due to controversy at the time that the Nazi government would hold on to the title if Schmeling were to win, the match was canceled. Instead, Braddock signed the fight Joe Lewis for the championship. On June 2, 1937, Braddock faced Lewis in the ring at Chicago's Comiskey Park. Lewis was the 10-1 favorite. At first, it looked as if Braddock could pull off the upset when he knocked down Lewis in the first round, but Lewis got up at the count of two and continued to fight for eight rounds. Braddock continued to put on a good fight until Lewis landed a right hook directly to Braddock's chin, which brought him to the floor. Joe Lewis was the new champion. But Braddock was a man who wanted to go out on top, and on January 21st, 1938, after beating Tommy Farr after 10 rounds, Jimmy Braddock, the beacon of hope for millions, hung up his gloves and retired for the professional boxing game. Braddock and his manager, Joe Gould, enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1942 and became first lieutenants. Braddock was stationed on the island of Sapin, just north of Guam. When he returned, he took part in the construction of the Verrazano Bridge and ran a marine equipment surplus supplier business. On November 29, 1974, after 85 fights with 51 victories, James J. Braddock died at home in his sleep at the age of 69. Braddock was inducted into the Ring Boxing Hall of Fame in 1964, the Hudson County Hall of Fame in 1991, and the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2001.